Ice Cream Swirl. Supplies needed. White colored pencil, black construction paper, possibly a ruler, scotch tape or glue stick for your value scales, more than one, and your ice cream reference. Color Pencil 101. Color pencils are composed of wax and pigment. The better quality pencils have more pigment and less wax. Cheaper brands will have a higher wax content, making it more difficult for students to blend and lay down colors evenly. Blending. Because wax is not easily erased, light, even dispersed layers of pencil yield a much cleaner and polished product. You can always add more layers, but it is difficult, if not impossible, to take layers away. Keep pencil sharp. It is much easier to add and blend layers if the pencil is sharp. It is also easier to create a crisp edge in order to get rid of an outline. Do not drop pencils, and I shouldn't have to say it, but don't throw them either. The wax will break inside on the inside of the wood casing, and when sharpened, little chunks of wax will fall out. This is a sure way to lose half a pencil with continuous sharpening and resharpening. These pencils are expensive. Keep them in the tin or in a plastic box while not in use. Erasing colored pencil. You can see in the examples here that attempting to erase white colored pencil leaves a smudgy, slimy finish. Look right there to the erased areas. If you work slowly and build up light layers, you will not need to erase. This will also help to slow down and alleviate that rush to finish. The clean application of pencil with no smudges or harsh line is part of our rubric. Realism. The goal of this lesson is to draw a three-dimensional object that looks as if you could lift it out of the composition. Realistic representational rendering. That's a really fancy way of saying drawing. White color pencil on black paper is a reversal of thought. Okay, so listen to this one. You might need to read this one more than once. Here is the logic behind the process. When working with graphite pencil, which is your regular pencil, you add the darker values by pressing harder and or using a softer graphite pencil, such as a 6B, to create the dark values. When working with white colored pencil on black paper, you press harder and add more layers of white colored pencils to add the lighter values. You press lighter to make the darker values and to make the darkest values, you do nothing at all because that is the paper color, all right? Think about that, it's a reverse. You're adding the lights and the darks are already there. Always use a value scale. So two things are very helpful when working with white color pencil this is in color. We're going to print this in black and white and we're going to use a value scale. So I'm going to give you one and you can easily check to see what value it is by referencing the value scale and applying it to your drawing seamlessly. All right. But here's that part. Make sure you create a drawn value scale right beneath the printed one before you begin. So I'm going to give you one and you're going to make one. All right. You need to practice these tones getting that light light to the dark, all right? All right, so this is a little bit about value. Value is the design element used to make that 2D object appear three-dimensional. It is important to use a value scale as you create your artwork. This will help you know if you have all values represented in your artwork. All references are broken down into shapes and values. As you observe and then draw the different value shapes, ask yourself, what kind of shape is it? Organic, one of those pretty blobs, geometric. Geometric would be a square, cone, cylinder. What is the value of the shape? Where does it fall on the value scale? What kind of edge does the shape have? Is it real abrupt? Like look right here, that's a real abrupt edge. If you look over here, that's not an abrupt edge, that's a soft edge. Soft or crisp, the transition of value in your drawing will depend on the texture and the light source. It's always about the light source. Here are some tips for success. Again, keep your pencil sharpened. 
Dull colored pencils make it difficult to create a sharp edge of value on value areas. Use that tiny circles to lay down light layers of values. Avoid heavy, liney strokes as they are difficult to blend out. Remember that side grip I showed you with your pencil? Think about adjusting it that way. Create a value scale before beginning the ice cream cone. Yes, you do need to do that. You need a little bit of practice on the black paper. Draw lightly. You can always add more value, but erasing, yeah, will only yield a slimy mess. All right, so here are some different projects that lend itself to really some really pretty things and cool things. Remember how I said glass is really difficult at this point, but look how it Look how it is with light colored pencil. It's beautiful. Look at the sheen of the fabric, that satin. It's just really, really nice. This is um, a self portrait of a girl in a Chinese box. Oh, yeah, such pretty stuff. Anyway, I'm really excited to see what y'all are going to do. Let me know if you have any questions.